fresh on. battle scar from a guitar. Yeah, right there from him actually. But at least one goes away. He's got a spot on his nose that's staying there for good. So. <laughs> Today's a historic day too, it's the first day ever that I'm going to go on stage without drinking anything at all. So something gone wrong with my stomach and I'm scared it's like my, fuck my liver or something. <laughs> I thought well maybe I have to stop for a few days and see what happens. But that's the thing, I've never ever done a show sober so I'm going to be probably really boring and just going to... Yeah, not when you're getting going at all. Do you still get nervous before getting on stage? No, nah, not nervous, just like, not, it's like, we're trying to explain to someone, like, like this friend of mine was getting all like, Oh, how, how do you, why do you need to booze to go on stage? It's, you should be fun, you know, people like you and people think you're cool. And But it's like, I was thinking, well, it's like going to a party with no booze. It's just boring. You know what I mean? It's all right, but... It's, you like them, they like you, but it's still boring. It's still right? boring, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or it's like being the driver, designated driver. You know, yeah. you're there, you're with the people, but no booze and you're just not able to top yourself. But is this a self-diagnosed ailment? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I was going to look up the internet so I could look up some more self-diagnosed ones, like... First thing you'd see will say like stomach cancer or something. Like, yeah. That's well, I sort of know. I used to. I used to be a nurse actually in hospital. So really? Like, yeah. But that actually makes it worse because like then you you know a little bit yeah. about a lot of things and there's just all it means is that there's more things that you can think of. I might have that. But you don't know enough about them to know that you haven't got that. So it actually doesn't really help. Yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah. Well, at least you guys will be more famous if I die. I I've been as one of dead. Um, yeah, they that do, signature actually, yeah. guitar artist he's got a signature guitar in Ibanez you know like Jackson had Randy Rhodes who died yep. he's got and they guitar. sell loads of them Dean, yeah. Dean guitar's got um, Dimebag who's yep. you know we died Ibanez hasn't got a dead signature guitarist yep. they, um, I, I heard that they're interested in having one so yeah. you could be the one <laughs> do you have your uh, your signature guitar and you're also named one of the 50, 50 best guitarists from Guitar World right <laughs> probably number 50 <laughs> which, which is the best honour having your guitar or being on that list um I don't know, I don't really... Oh, I didn't really think about it, actually. I suppose they have any guitar, because you have to buy one. Yeah. You don't buy no, one. people only read that list that month when the magazine's out. Yeah, your guitar is, is immortalized for us. Yeah. You know, in, in shops and people's... Um... So that, then. The, the best part of having your guitar is that kids go out and they buy the guitar that you play, or that you have a guitar that has every single specification you've ever dreamed of. Well, both, really, yeah. Yeah, no, it's cool because you get one to make one that you actually like, and then um, yeah, if kids buy it, then right, that's cool too because then they get to look as cool as me. <laughs> oh well, nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for bye. Bye. Thanks for making us bye bye. doing what you could. You should do everything you're supposed to. Not ready. Ten hours. Ten hours. Ten hours. I have a, a, a question from a non-metal guy that I am. Right. What's the difference between all the different types of metal I was reading about? There's death um, metal. There's, some are more there's, horrible than others. Uh, how many so, types some are of, there? Some, some of them attract chicks. Some of them don't, but most of them really don't, actually. Um, what else? Um, yeah, basically, that's it. Some are more horrible than others. We're, we're at the like, most pleasant end of the scale. Yeah, we are, actually. But still no chicks come to us. But, so. but for someone like me, would I be able to tell the difference between death metal and black metal? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, death metal is and black metal is ah. If that's a simple way to describe it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> now you know. Now you're yeah, gonna, no, you're I, an expert. I'm glad I asked. Yeah. What's a, a guitar solo that you wish you would have written? Um, none, because mine are cooler than everyone else's. No, it's actually true. I do think mine are cool than everyone else. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Well, not a big head or anything. What, what makes a perfect guitar solo? Something with a bit of fastness in it. A bit of cap Something that you can air guitar to. That's a sort of good answer there. You know what I mean? If you can't air guitar to it, it means that it's forgettable and like not very interesting. So that's what makes it good. 
and obviously all mine are really, really amazing. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah.